This is Forbidden Speech: The Raw Truth with your host Christina Rivera. In this savvy broadcasting series, we delve into hot topics affecting us all. With cancel culture and big tech censoring any opposing ideas and thoughts outside of mainstream ideology, it has become more important than ever that we tell the raw truth about everything from U.S. world politics, COVID, Christianity, and everything in between. We invite all points of view to come and share their perspective honestly and respectfully. Hi, Lily Rockelin. Welcome to Savvy Broadcasting, the newest、uh, Forbidden Speech. How are you today? I'm good. Hi, Christina. Thanks for having me. Ah, you betcha! I am so grateful to have you here. You were born born in the French Riviera,、uh, but you are also a songwriter、um, and doing great work out there. But you've written a wonderful new song called "Child Free."、Uh, you're living in New York City and thriving in your music career.、Um, but interestingly, I also chose a child free lifestyle many years ago. I, I decided very early in my twenties I didn't want to. To have children, and everyone just looked at me like I had two heads. Like, what's wrong with you? Why not? You're a woman. <laughs> You're supposed to want children. <laughs> so,、uh, tell me how you came about writing your song. Well, you know, I、uh, came across the word、um, child-free a few、mm. years ago. I think it was in the Huffing- Huffington Post、um, article, and when I read it, I was, oh, this is me. Oh, there is an actual movement out there, and we're, you know, we're talking more and more about it. So I started to join、mm. uh, forums and groups and meetup groups, and、mm. starting to talk a little bit more, you know, about it because to me, it's always been, you know, my lifestyle. I never really like. Thought about it too much, and、um, and you know, thanks to like looking at forums and groups and talking with friends and making friends that are child-free, I realized that、um, a lot of women struggle a lot in their lives、um, with criticism from society, from their uh, close uh, family members and or friends. And I mean, you know,、um, I think any child-free woman is going to struggle with this.、Mm-hmm. I personally did not. Struggle、uh, with it on, on how can I say、uh, mm-hmm. specifically with my、uh, family because my family never like you know、uh, blame me or criticize me on this. I'm lucky for this. But when I see how hard it is on, on other women, you know, when their mother or、uh, sisters, you know, or anybody in their close family are really harsh on them, it's just、mm-hmm. really not fun,、mm-hmm. you know. So、mm-hmm. I really wanted to,、um, yeah. Help Something that would support all of us, and so I thought, well, you know, then I should just write a song and make a whole song, and just call it "Child Free." And so it is the first song out there on the topic. So、mm-hmm. um, it's been really interesting, and、um, it's been worked on really well by the child free community.、Mm-hmm. Uh, call it the anthem. So that that's really cool. Has there been any neg- negative feedback on it, or no? Yes, there's been some really strange things.、Um, I guess some women, you know, that I know that are mothers, they、um, like they came to me、uh, feeling that they had to justify why they're a mother, and、mm-hmm. so you know, try to explain. Well, you know, the song is doesn't tell,、mm-hmm. doesn't say that women that are mothers are unhappy,、mm-hmm. you know, or the、yeah. song doesn't say.、Uh, Women should not have children. You know, the song is about okay, women that have chosen to not have children, we're happy. You don't have to, you know,、yeah. uh, think that we're unhappy or that it's terrible or regret, you know. So, so th- this was interesting.、Uh, and other other negative、um, uh, responses were,、um, uh, you know, were some comments. On social media, after I mean, you know, there's trolls. I'm sure. Social media. <laughs> yeah, You're always gonna get you know, negative on social media. Yeah. yeah, but then you know, some some other people that I know, you know, it's interesting because we would never talk about it. I think a lot of people assume that oh,、uh, she's married, she doesn't have children, so they probably cannot, you know. And、yeah. like, and and then and then all of a sudden, say, oh wow, she's just you know,、uh, shouting, you know, saying out loud, she, you know, she's child friend, you know. Me and my husband obviously, you know, we're, we're child-free by choice,、yeah. and so it's it's come out like, oh, you know, so now you know, I get something like, oh, but you know, l- like they take it like I'm criticizing, 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Today's climate is so weird, Lily, because it's if you take a stance and say this is just my decision, my choice, a certain group of people, oh, you're you're criticizing me for a different choice. It's like, no, you have your choice. I have my choice. It's okay that we all each have our own choices. It doesn't have to be that all of our choices are the same. Um, it's interesting when I met my husband, we immediately sat down and he's like, I want to get clear before we even start dating seriously that I don't want children. I'm like, great, neither do I. Um, you know, but we weren't adverse to the, if it happened by accident, okay, we'll deal with it. But we're not looking to have that as our lifestyle. Um, but it is very interesting, Lily, it is true. Um, it's kind of bizarre in culture period around the world that women are seeing that you should want to have children. And there are some cases where you just feel that's just not my calling on this planet, that maybe I'm here for a different reason. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, the things that, you know, I heard, I mean, you know, I didn't, I don't care about comments myself, but, you know, now I, I realize, you know, thanks to talking with other women, you know, the, the things and, and the preconceptions about women, you know, that, you know, um, if you're a woman, you know, you have a warm then uh, you have to uh, uh, reproduce. You know, mm -hmm. it's like it's this thing, and and that a woman cannot be a woman if she doesn't have children. And you know, they they uh, merge the term of motherhood with womanhood as they they don't have to be together. You don't mm -hmm. need to have motherhood to have womanhood. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's very interesting, and and I agree with you. You know, it's it's very polarized. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you say you're happy about something and they never heard about it before. And yeah, then it's, then, you know, then they, um, they want to think that, oh, you, that, you know, I must hate parents. So I must hate no. children. And it's just not true. I have, I actually have a lot of compassion for children. I actually feel bad, especially, you know, for the children that are born in families that actually don't want them. That's. Yeah. You know, like child-free us, you know, child-free people, you know, we're actually very uh, uh, thoughtful, you know, we're very, we, we thought a lot about it and <laughs> we're like, okay, you know, I don't want children. And then, you know, if we had had children, mm -hmm. it would be a mistake. And why would you do that to the, <laughs> to, to the to poor humans? Human. Yeah, that comes to this world. Yeah. And what's interesting, I like that, that we're having this conversation. I think more women should sit down and have this conversation and say, what would my life look like having children? Is that the lifestyle I want or my husband and I, or if you're alone or whatever. And I say that because people think it's, it's like, I have a nice little doll and a house and a picket fence. And I'm like, no, the reality of having children is really, really hard. And if you don't think about what the life is going to look like and do you see yourself in that and really think about it carefully, you you might end up in a life that you're really unhappy with. And of course, then you're going to make your kids really unhappy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I love that we're having this conversation, but share more about your singing career because you just don't write songs about child free. You have many other songs and you've been writing for a long time. You've become quite successful in America. Share your story a little bit, how you came from, you know, where you came from and then came all the way here. How did that work out for you? Thank for you. Sure. Yeah. You know, I grew up in France and mm -hmm. I started learning uh, uh, music and a little bit about songwriting when I was in France, but I really learned about writing songs once I was already in the U.S. And uh, I was already writing a little bit in English when I was in France, but I really learned once I was here, I learned with, uh, uh, with two bands at first. I was, you know, a, a, um, a singer and co-writer in original bands. And then I started a solo career and moved to New York City around 2007, 2008. So I've been in New York for a while now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I sing, I play the piano and the ukulele and I write all my own songs, mostly in English and a few in French. Um, and uh, um yeah, I'm just really grateful that New York has been just so welcoming for me and embracing uh, my music. I learned a lot about the business and I really enjoy uh, when I have my music um, used for TV shows or, you know, uh, commercials or things like this. This is just really, uh, really uh, cool um, collaboration to, to do, you know, you mix two different arts and I really love this. And um, yes, yeah, so it's been just really, really awesome. Uh, live performances have been a lot, a lot of fun. I um, one of my favorite performances was when I sang the uh, 
national national anthem, which is not an original song, obviously. No. Um, at City Field, it was for a uh, a run, and uh, so um, the Mets uh, mascots were there. There was on the Mets uh, game, but uh, it was in the stadium, and that was just really really awesome. And uh, so yeah, it's been just really cool. Now, tell me, was it scary when you first came to New York? Because I moved to New York at 16 and stayed there till quite recently. We moved to Texas only um, a year and a half ago. Um, but when I first moved there as a teenager, it scared me. It was so crazy and loud and different. How was it for you? Is it a little scary? No, you know, so I actually first moved, when I moved to the U.S., I ended up first um, in Akron, Cleveland area. Uh, there's a lot of rock music there. You mu you must know the Black Keys. The Black Keys come from Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent a few years there. And this is where I think I developed a lot of my songwriting and learning about, you know, managing a band and that sort of thing. And uh, then when I moved to New York, I guess, you know, I, uh, I guess I was ready for it. Um, I had already had a an American life experience you know in uh, northeast ohio which is very different than new york city new york, new york city it's its own world yeah and um i think new york you know i, I was already familiar with big cities as I, I had i had been to uh paris mm -hmm. you know so new york it's um i just love new york i didn't feel scared or anything i guess at first the um the business was a little mm -hmm. bit much but um, I really got used to it. I think it's got a really powerful energy that just takes you mm -hmm. and it just pushes you. And it's just a really inspiring place for musicians. Um, yeah. Especially when you're a singer songwriter, there's a lot of place, small, a lot of small places. So for singer songwriters and, you know, acoustic music and things like this, you know, it's just great. And um, yeah, I just really, I, I really love it here. I'm definitely a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker than an American than French in that particular order. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, as we end out here, I would like, if there are any young women listening in and they're sitting there like, I don't know what my life should hold. What is a good choice for me? Child-free, not child-free? What would be your advice for them to to go forward and, and to answer those questions? Yeah, I think I would just say congratulations for uh, thinking about it because um, that shows that uh, uh, you're aware that it's possible. It is possible It is possible for us women nowadays with contraceptions to, uh, uh, to not get pregnant. So we have the choice to have children or not have children in our lives. And um, so this is, you know, this is what open what's open the mind of many many uh young women and then you know to uh not be afraid of what they decide and really really try to think on your own and not get influenced by other people and just realize there's a lot of other women out there that took this choice and we're very happy and uh we have no regrets and i'll end with like the the cover art of my son these are 55 child free uh happy child free women that i put on my cover art and and listen to the song if that helps <laughs> it's everywhere. where can they listen where can they listen and find out more about you as well sure the song is at all music platforms so lily wackerlin l-i-l-i or -L o-t-e-l-i-n it's on spotify on youtube there's also a lyric video so check out the lyrics if that inspires you and I have plenty of other music. Um, I have my album, Be Inspired. This is the latest album. So check it out. And I hope that uh, you enjoy all of this. Yes. And I did put the website right there, everyone. So you could also click go there. I thank you so much, Lily, for coming today to Savvy's uh, show and sharing your great wisdom. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You betcha. Take care. Like, subscribe, and share this episode. To listen to more Forbidden Speech or Savvy episodes, visit SavvyBroadcasting.com. To find out about our paid sponsorship opportunities or how to become a guest, email Christina at LifeUnscriptedRadio.com.